Good afternoon, punters, and welcome to another edition of Betfair Spruikers. We're here to try and find you a winner. And Jake Norton is with me again to help you try and find a bit of value. Good afternoon, Find Jake. a winner we shall. Good afternoon to you, Tags. You and I are on fire at the minute, by the way, so punters hang off, particularly every one of Tags' words today. Eight out of eight last week in our AFL betting, and Bang. I think we're uh, one and two in the Betfair Start yeah, competition. Correct. Check. Probably the way it should be too, I'd imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it stays that way. Correct. Um, plenty of action off the field this week in the AFL. And really? it leads nicely into our first game, which is Collingwood versus St Kilda. Um, breathe a bit of fire into this game, Jake. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being very critical of the Collingwood Footy Club. Um, Alan Dydak's their best player by miles. But absolutely, they can, they can afford to lose Heath Shaw. He's a jib who hasn't earned his own kick ever. But I, don't, I can't, like, Steve Johnson has done similar things as Didak at Geelong, and they've managed to reform him. I think if they do eventually get rid of Didak, shame on them. Yeah, well, they might, they might have to. I, I agree with the reshore, reshore bit, but uh, they'll Heath probably... Shaw. Oh, and Reshore. Hey, they'll, 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 they're all there, and yeah. a happy hunting ground we'll for you. paint them with the same brush. And a happy hunting ground for you, the, uh, the G-Bone. Oh, yes, that's, that's right, the G-Bone Polo Club. Cheers to the, uh, the staff and, and what have you down there. We'll see you again on Sunday. A of sight of there. <laughs> It's two dollars forty Collingwood, a dollar seventy St Kilda. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Pies. Why? Because I think St Kilda are pretty ordinary. Yeah, well, I suppose so. But and, um, they just scraped home against a pretty average Port Adelaide. It's, it's, it's so. a quite a, tip, a diff, difficult game to tip, isn't it? For for many reasons. But yeah, I'm going with St Kilda. I think they they've they showed last week. They really knuckled down in the second half, and they've got a lot to play for. Collingwood will be stung, but I don't think they'll be good enough without Dido. Fair enough. The other one that we're going to look at is uh, Carlton versus Port Adelaide. Carlton going to sh- start here a ridiculously short quote. A dollar thirty versus Port Adelaide four dollars. Jake is a um, dollar thirty the lay of the round. I think it is tags. This is one that you've obviously uh, yep. mentioned thus far this week. I, I can't get over that price either. At that, I, 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 you'd expect Carlton to win, but Port weren't bad against St Kilda last week. But at that price of a dollar thirty, that's absolutely a lay. You're right about that. Yeah, and, and, and four dollars Port Adelaide, not 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 travelling particularly well, but they did push St Kilda, and um, there might be a bit of value there, certainly for in, in running uh, punters who can get on the phone and uh, and have a bet there if the, if they're um, level pegging at halfway, that might be an even money shot. Yeah, you're exactly right. And they Tass. get a chance to lay off the Brownlow market fire in this market as always. Uh, Bartel was the shortener again during the week. Uh, four dollars now, Bartel. He's still chasing Ablett. Three dollars and ten. Uh, Brent Harvey, Adam Cooney, and Chris Judd. Harvey six dollars forty. Cooney, ten dollars, and Judd, twenty odd. Yeah, this is a really interesting one. Yeah. It's going to be a great one for in-play betting on Brownlow night because yeah. Ablett's going to be in front by a long way at some point. I think that's fairly clear. Three ten is current price. What price do you think he'll get into? Uh, he's only going to drift from here, I'd say. But yeah, that's he, right. He, it, he was back to the prohibitive quote odds on only a matter of weeks ago. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a really, really interesting it, it one. It will be interesting. Uh, punters, you can bet right up until that last vote is read by... Uh, by Andrew Demetri, Gomez, yeah. Gomez, yeah. Mm. Um, with typical panache. The premiership market, the Cats way out in front, followed by Hawthorne, four dollars eighty, Western Bulldogs ten fifty, and then there's a massive gap to the rest, Sydney and Collingwood now in the drift along uh, for your reference, a dollar seventy six. Punters have that right. Got it right? Yeah. The Geelong probably can't shorten now until um, until finals time. No, no, they don't have any of the the great or the better sides remaining, so punters have that right. And two of the teams that will definitely be there in September in the NRL are Manly and uh, Melbourne. Manly playing host to uh, the Storm this week in what's going to be a, a pretty emotional and tough encounter at Brookvale. It's going to be a big one, the grand final replay. Yeah. Um, Melbourne have a shocking record at Brookie Tags. They've only won one from six, I think, they're right. since their inception. Um, but they're in, in fine form, although they lost a couple of weeks ago away in New Zealand. So they're pretty short at $1.66, given that Manly are on top and have only dropped a couple of games for the season. And, of course, at Brookie, but they're missing Lyon and Watmo, I think, two very important players. So They're still very big in the pack, though. Yeah, they are. You're right. They've got many um, origin and, and, and test representatives. But, um, yeah, I mean, as a Melbourne boy, um, you've got to sort of fly the flag and, and go storm. Yeah, I think it's $1.66 Melbourne, $2.40 the Sea Eagles. Uh, the premiership market, though, is, um, is Melbourne out in front, $2.34, uh, Manly at five thirty, Sydney at seven twenty, Brisbane nine twenty, and Cronulla $20. It's uh, football heaven mm. uh, for punters this weekend uh, without the, uh, the Tri-Nations. So good luck on the punt. We hope you have a winner.